Hey there guys, thanks for joining me today as we're taking a look at the wheels update. I am super excited about this because, in fact, before the update came out, a couple of days before that, I was actually experimenting with wheels. Uh, particularly wheels on rotors, of course, because that was the only thing that we had at that time. Uh, I was trying different designs. I was trying to add some uh, dampening using sideways rotors to uh, control the up and down motion, as well as some uh, left and right and twisting. Uh, so like the banking to see if I could make something that was good for all terrain and then ladies and gentlemen obviously it turned Thursday Well, actually it was Wednesday when I decided okay. I'm gonna do a video on this and uh, yeah come to you with a couple of designs and then uh, We received a Twitter Wheels tomorrow or real cars tomorrow. That was what the uh, the Twitter message said So yeah, I was like, okay, that's a bummer here I am trying to experiment with all these vehicles and it is no longer necessary because we're gonna get something really cool And here we are we have real wheels and real suspension and this is so cool because obviously I, I had been working with it already and uh, Yeah to get wheels that suit better than rotors obviously is a thrill to uh, to all of us here so I'm gonna be showing you a couple of designs and more importantly a couple of limitations currently that are quite annoying um, and I hope will be worked around with to start with the multiplayer is not working yet so uh, yeah I can only show you this in single player and the world we're currently in is actually a world I am currently working on it's a big huge city that I'll be showing you as we drive through this marvelous city and later on we'll be releasing on the workshop but only as soon as it is finished so here we have a little car with uh, yeah suspension set up wheel set up and it looks quite ditty and quite cool does it not it's got some uh, mass blocks in there to keep it down some lights currently turned off and it's pretty cool so before we actually jump into the car I'm just gonna quickly create a ship here to show you how it works exactly. I'm just gonna set up a cockpit here, remove the landing gear and chuck a wheel on the side. Very simple, right? Put some power on it, obviously. One of the cool things about this is that you don't need thrusters anymore. You just don't need them and that is incredibly cool. So here we have a cockpit with some power and then the wheel suspension block here. I could just click on it and voila we have a wheel. I could do the same on the other side and we have two wheels. Now if I get into the cockpit, I press K for the menu. You see here the cockpit is selected and you can choose what it controls. You know, does it, do you want to use thrusters? No, we don't want to use thrusters. We want to use the wheels and a handbrake. And that will allow me to control these two wheels using WASD. And you can set per wheel if they allow steering or propulsion. Um, so you know you can make a, a, a an off-road vehicle with a 4x4 uh, propulsion or you know only a uh, rear wheel propels, uh, yeah, propelled vehicle to make it more drifty around the corner. You can set the amount of power that the wheels provide, the amount of friction, so does it skid fast or does it not? This is basically the tire pressure. I just put this at 100% to make sure I have a full friction. I'm not looking to drift around corners or anything. So, And then you have the strength. Strength is important. I'll, I'll try and demonstrate this. I'm not sure if it's, if it's possible. Um, you can see that the wheel is currently centered in the middle uh, of the suspension block. Putting the strength at... 100% will mean that it is as stiff as possible and there won't be any bouncing bouncing around now if I try and decrease the strength they will basically be flopping down and hanging without any uh, stiffness in them and then you have the dampening so if I would put the strength all the way up they'll be tight as, 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 as you could imagine but if I put the dampening up that will mean that it will bounce around as soon as it's hit by something and yeah again it's it's super cool I mean I'm pressing W and A right now and you can see that they're moving uh, forward and backwards and I can steer obviously there's no gyro on the ship so it won't be stopping and that's another cool thing because you won't be steering with the mouse anymore so you won't be needing a gyroscope or any such thing so here we have a vehicle and this vehicle is looking very very cool and I'll just show you how it works and uh, straight away I'll show you one of the other limitations these wheels they need a lot of space around them for some reason because these suspension blocks they're really big um, However, if I would get into the vehicle and show you, if I turn to the right, you can see that the wheels are not touching any of the blocks around it, so it is completely cl uh, clear. But for some reason, the collision detection is not working very well, and it actually thinks it is hitting, which does make the vehicle a little bouncy when it thinks that it's actually being... Oh, gosh. 
that was not intended for. You see, I added this spoiler and then we kind of <laughs> shifted our mass, center of mass to the back a little bit too much. Uh, let's fix this real quick. There we go. Bouncy, bouncy. Let's get back in here. And let's have a look at what I did with the power and decrease it a little bit. So, there we are. A bit less acceleration. Now I'm going to turn left fully and you'll see that the vehicle is bouncing. That's It's like hopping left and up and down. And that's because it thinks it's hitting. It's for some reason there's a collision on the on the wheel that's making it very awkward and bouncy. No sparking like you had with the rotor, so that's nice. Um, and yeah, as long as I don't fully go A or D, it's fine. So let's take this thing around the track. But first, let's add some more power. Let's put this thing thing back at 50% and see if I can prevent it from staggering. Uh, let's show you how this works if we go down here. Voila. We are down. So this uh, this town, yeah, this is an incredibly cool city I'm currently working on. Um, I've had some help from Jez and Kel, obviously, because I haven't been able to do this all on my own. But it is very cool. I'll show you later on what is what. I was a little bit disappointed with how the wheels handle on the terrain. They don't always seem to be working as good yet. There is some jumping up and down, even though the terrain is fully flat. And that is a little unfortunate. I need to remind you there's no gyroscope on this thing. There's no thrusters. So how cool is it that I'm doing all of this with just WASD directly controlling the wheels and nothing else? Oh, some acceleration there is... It's it, it's it's a little glitchy still. I, I don't really understand how it works. Uh, you need to find a very good balance between mass blocks and grip and friction. And for some reason, sometimes you do get a lot of acceleration and sometimes you don't. It is still a little wonky. Another thing to mention is that the wheels are not as big as the normal wheels that we know of. And that is also a little bit weird. The rotor setup allows for a lot less wide setup. Um, I've actually made a vehicle here with extended wheels just to show you the collision. There's a bit less collision on this one. As you can see, it's obviously completely clear. Turn off the parking brake. Now, currently, if I press forward, you can see it's working just fine. Reverse, it's working just fine. But now what happens if I steer? If I do it just tapping the button, it works fine. There's no, no worries there, no issues. But if I hold the D key, it completely locks up. Look at this. This is ridiculous. Why is it doing this? There is something wrong with the way these wheels are set up. There is not enough play. Currently, I'm pressing D, but it's steering left because it's just stuck. There he goes. So yeah, it hasn't been resolved just yet. There, this isn't flawless. But hey, it's the first stage, right? So that's that's okay, I guess. Press P to park. And yeah, here we have our original design again. Let's turn on the lights because I've put lights on this thing for a reason. Red in the back, white in the front. Epic, right? All right, so I want to show you another vehicle I made real quick. Um, yeah, this map is, is basically a spaceport. You can land your ships here and... Uh, move through this city as if it's all day, everyday life. Um, we've got different places like uh, the park there, but I'll explain later on that. Currently, we're driving towards a factory, and I've parked a, uh, a bit of a lorry type truck there that I want to quickly show you. So, here we have another vehicle. This is uh, yeah, a bigger type, I guess. This is where you could put some cargo on and move this from one place to another. Bigger wheels. Again, they're still very low to the ground because of the suspension and that's unfortunate. I don't really like it, but whatever. So this vehicle has uh, two cockpits and you can actually set them individually. You know, maybe you'd want the, uh, the left cockpit to steer and the right cockpit to control a thruster. You can actually set your vehicle up like that and make this a cooperative vehicle. Turn off the parking brake and let's go.
So I've set this one up with a little less power. It shouldn't go as fast. Uh, yeah, it's currently doing max speed already. But hey, we, we like it like that. Let's see if we can make a right turn here. A left turn here, sorry. Oh, let's take it slow. Again, it's very hard to find a good balance between suspension, uh, strength, and the amount of mass blocks you have. Uh, if you put too many mass blocks, then you get crushed into the ground. But if you put too little, you bounce up and down a lot, and that's a problem. So as you can see, this vehicle is also a little bit bouncy if I completely steer one way or the other. And that's so unfortunate. I hope that they uh, yeah, do improve on this a little bit. But hey, the design, the concept is incredible, and I'm super excited about this. Extremely excited. Now, before we close off this video, I want to just go over a couple of suggestions I posted on the Reddit. Um, I, uh, I suggested that we get a limiter on the amount of turn your wheels can do. So, you know, uh, this would maybe be 100%. I would want to be able to say, okay, I only want to be able to turn 50% or 10%, you know, um, that would really help with your design, making sure that your wheel doesn't touch the back of your vehicle, for example, or the front of your vehicle. Um, that would be really nice. So add a slider for that. I would really, uh, really enjoy that. You can, you know, fiddle with that a little bit more like you would be able to do with a rotor. Um, obviously, when you put a rotor on your ship, you can set the upper and lower limits. And, you know, why not have the same thing? on your wheels. I mean, this is a great idea, I would think. Now, another thing that bothered me a little bit, I'll just continue building onto this ship because it would probably be the e easiest thing to do. What bothers me a lot is the size. The uh, I have a problem with this. If I would take a quick rotor and a medium wheel, I'll put the rotor on first. And then the wheel. Very simple. And there's actually quite a lot of space between the bottom of the vehicle now and the wheel base there. The, yeah, the wheel. Now this block, let's put that down there. It's a whole different wheel to start with. It's a lot wider. And I do believe it's a little less high. Well, maybe it's actually the same diameter. I'm not entirely sure. But what I do notice that because this block is, the suspension is a lot lower, it's closer to the ground, as well as a lot further away from the vehicle base. I mean, look at the distance. Look at the size of it. It's too big. We need to find a way to reduce this. Now, I did read on the on the Reddit when I suggested that we, um, yeah, lower or reduce the, the width of the suspension itself. One of the problems, obviously, would be the turning of the wheel. That might become an issue. So let me know what you think about that. Because uh, I do think there's a little bit of redesigning required here. Because it's really hard. If I make a vehicle, um, the minimum width is about five blocks, I believe. And, and that's just crazy. You know, if I would put a wheel right there. And I would put a wheel right there. Now, I will compare this to what would happen if we put rotors in place. This is becoming a tentacle of wheels. Interesting vehicle concept, right? I'm surprised it hasn't fallen over yet with the mass blocks turned on. Anyway, look at the difference here. I mean, the wheels are about a block wider, I would think. Two blocks wider. That is a lot of width, you know. Surely we should be able to do something about that, right? Because you do limit the size of the vehicles here. Or, you, yeah, you limit the capabilities, I should say. Let's take a look at this vehicle here. Um, where did we leave it? At the factory, right? Just quickly fly over to the factory. It is a good width, but why not allow us to make it smaller? This is quite alright, but it could be better. And there's something with these wheels. They're, cur they're always twitching. Why are you twitching? Something tells me that the game does not find it a comfortable thing. I do love the wheels. I mean, it's it's incredible, and uh, I'm very thankful for the uh, the developers to to put this in. I hope they keep building on it, but it is glitchy and it needs some some extra work. Oh gosh, we're stuck. Let's see, if we can do something about that. 
four wheel drive, full strength. And we still can't get up. Well, let's see how fast we are at least. I uh, I can tell you this is gonna be quite scary. At some point you actually take off scarily enough. Oh god. Oh my god, what just happened? That is crazy. There seems to be some book, this has happened to me before, where the wheels just come out their sockets and... Wave it like it's a party, I don't know what that is, but... Anyway, stay tuned for a good look at this map. Um, it's not done yet, so I don't want to give you too much, but it is starting to look incredibly, incredibly cool. So stay tuned for this and let me know what you think of this video. Let me know what you think about the wheels. I love it. I think it's really cool. Um, I'm super happy about it. So yeah, I'm looking forward to continue playing with these. Uh, but yeah, I do think we need a little bit more compatibility for a lack of a better term to, uh, to work with this. Thanks for watching today, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Have a good uh, remainder of your weekend and I will talk to you soon. See ya.